the beginning of the movie, we see a small child, Eli, who was running in the garden of his house. But suddenly while running, God knows what happens to him. He was suffocating and his face was red. He also becomes unconscious. But when he comes to his senses, we come to know that Eli has a dangerous disease. He could not breathe in the open air. After that, Eli's mother comes to him and tells that. Today we have to go to meet a doctor. So much so that Eli had an airtight suit. That is, air could not go inside it. He used to wear it and go out. And if he goes out like this, then the outside air will burn his whole body. Now he wears his suit and was ready to go with his mom and dad. On the way, his dad tells him that, the doctor we are going to today, I have heard about him. He is very good and maybe after going to him, we don't need to go anywhere else. While talking, his mom and dad reached the doctor's house, whose house was very big, but it was in a deserted area. The doors of his house were also computerized, which opened by themselves. When Eli goes to that house, he has to go through some machines first, which was cleaning it. After that, Eli meets Dr. Horn, who says that you do not need to wear this suit now. My house is airtight. There is no air coming from outside. So you will not be harmed by staying like this. At first, Eli does not believe Dr. Horn's words. But when he takes off the suit, nothing happens to him. Seeing him like this, his mom is very happy, and she started crying with joy. She hugged Eli, because after a long time she was looking at him like this. Eli asks Dr. Horn a lot of questions. He says, will you cure me? How many children have you cured before me? Dr. Horn says, Yes, I will cure you. Now she tells him to take a bath. Eli was taking a bath after a long time. Seeing himself like this, he starts crying. Now Dr. Horn shows him a room and says that this is your room. You rest here. We will meet tomorrow morning. Now the real story begins from here. When Eli was sleeping, he started hearing some sounds near his window at night. When he goes near him after hearing the sound, it seemed as if someone was breathing near the window. It seemed as if someone was breathing near the window. So he got scared and went to his mom and dad's room to sleep. Now the next morning he tells this to everyone. Hearing this, it seemed as if Eli had had a bad dream. Hearing this, it seemed as if Eli had had a bad dream. Some nurses take Eli to a room where he had to be treated. 
some nurses take Eli to a room where he had to be treated. Dr. Horn injects a cell in his back. This cell will go into Eli's body and kill his dead cells. Dr. Horn injects a cell in his back. This cell will go into Eli's body and kill his dead cells. However, he felt a strange sensation in his body. His entire body turned red with an allergy. His skin started peeled. He got a lot of pain. He fell unconscious due to this. When he got conscious he found himself in a room. When he got conscious he found himself in a room. When he got conscious he found himself in a room. You are sick too. You can't live in the open air. Do you have any allergy? Because often the same kids come here for treatment. Who have some kind of allergy. Who can't breathe in the open air. Eli tells Henry to come inside. But she left after saying so much. Now when Eli was about to go to her room. She feels someone's presence behind her. It felt like someone was following her. When he looks behind, he sees a scary girl. Who was coming to catch him. But then his dad comes in front of Eli. Who was scolding him and saying, what are you doing here so late at night? He takes him with him. Now while eating, Eli tells her mom. I have seen a girl who was wearing a patient suit. Maybe there is a girl here besides me. Who has come to get her treatment. But her mom says no. There is nothing like that. There is no one here besides us. It must be your delusion. You must have seen a nurse. Eli was quiet. He goes back to his room. The same girl comes in front of him. Who was pulling him and taking him somewhere? Eli was very scared. He shouts at his mom and dad. Now after hearing his screams. His mom and dad also came. They say, son, there is no one here. Who are you afraid of? Now Dr. Horn comes here and tells. Eli's mom and dad that. All this is the effect of medicines. He will be fine very soon. On which his mom says to Dr. Horn. Can't you reduce the dose of medicines? On hearing this. Eli's dad makes his mom quiet. And says. What are you doing? Let the doctor do his work. We have his last way. We have put everything in this treatment. On the other side. Eli was not feeling well. He wanted to go from here. He tells his mom. Dad please take me from here. I don't want to stay here. But his mom and dad refuse him. Because they had spent a lot of money. On his treatment. Now once again. 
Kelly hits a stone on Neil I's window. Before this, the same girl who was seen everywhere goes to meet Helly. She attacks him. Eli hid in the closet, fearing her, and screams loudly. His mom and dad also came there. But this time, that girl writes her name on Eli's closet, which was written again and again. And she also breaks that closet. Even after seeing all this, everyone was still thinking that all this is Eli doing to go from here. Now this night, Eli meets Hallie and tells her that I feel like there is a ghost of a girl who wants to scare me and she tries to kill me. Hearing all this, Hallie says that a child used to live here before you and she also said the same but when the doctor who was living here started his treatment after the third stage he was not seen here and I have seen him going out I don't know what happened with him. So listen to me. You should also leave from here soon. But then again, he hears someone. More captions will be updated soon.